Oklahoma raring to go after having its five-game winning streak snapped in that nine-point loss up at Kansas State on Saturday. Meanwhile, Texas came to town riding a four-game losing streak winless in the Big 12. It was a wideout at Lloyd Noble Center. Big Monday, late-night game. Look how high Amat Embai gets for that alley-oop dunk early on. It was a turnover fest early, but the Sooners were capitalizing off eight straight Texas turnovers. Oklahoma also having some trouble holding on the ball early though, turning it over eight times in the first half. Texas capitalized thanks to Sheldon McClellan. 25 points off the bench, four rebounds, two assists, two steals. On crew who doesn't like that one bit, a guy coming off the bench scored 25 points. How about Romero Osby? He had a great night there with the hoop and the harm. He was just getting started. He was also getting some help from his little buddy, the freshman. Buddy Heald gets a nice little floater fall in there. Heald had six points in the first half. He had three straight buckets to score those six points. Things changed quickly late in the first half. Oklahoma had trailed by as many as five, but led by four, 30-26 at the break. Much of that thanks to senior Romero Osby. That's the improbable reverse layup there. That ball did not even touch the net. What an outstanding performance. I hope this isn't going to his head. Just a ridiculous game. Three-point play. He had several of those on the night. Mott Embai had several of those alley-oop dunks. Three, to be exact. He was high-flying all over the place. He finished with 15 points, five rebounds, one block. It's the Sooners. We're starting to pull away in the second half. You know things are going right. Romero Osby hits the three-pointer. He's got three on the year, three of five. Osby. 29 points, a career high. Go with eight rebounds, three steals, two blocks, and the freshman. Here he is, Buddy Heald. He had a outstanding performance once again. The sweet little spin move there. Heald, 12 points, four rebounds, four assists, two blocks, two steals. So Oklahoma gets the win, 73-67, shooting 48%. Texas had been leading the nation, holding the opponents under 35%. Sooners snap a six-game losing streak to the Longhorns. It was just a um, testament to my teammates and um, coach. Coach was running stuff for me. My teammates were finding me and, and, and giving me the ball so I didn't have to do much with it but just make an individual move. And um, I just had to give, you know, the 29 points came from them. They really helped me and, of course, the free throw line. But, um, yeah, was, things were just clicking a little bit for me tonight. I'm not surprised to see real get a game like that. I mean, I see him in practice every day, and he's one of the most dominant post players I've ever played with, whether it was in, in Europe or here. He's just, he's just a workhorse, and he's, he's just doing amazing. And it's, I mean, it's, it's always easier to work next to somebody like that because all the attention is on him, and uh, they tend to forget you a little bit in the back right there. And uh, I mean, it's, it's really easy. And uh, he's, just, he's just really a role model for me. And uh, he's a great senior, he's a great leader, and just the fact that he's able to get so many points, so many rebounds. It's just just a model of how hard you should play and how well you could play. Yeah, Rose, Rose leadership's been uh, invaluable to the entire group, but especially the young guys. Uh, again, it's not just the young guys that he sets the, the, the bar for, but he's, he sets it for everyone. And I think our guys, like Amat said, they, they appreciate the fact that he's very genuine. He's doing it for all the right reasons. He's all about team. And uh, no one you know works harder, puts more time in, and is more consistent in practice than Roe is, so that's what you want out of your leading scorer and, and the guy that everyone else is kind of uh, rallying around. So the Sooners off to a great start at four and one in conference play, but next up, a Herculean challenge. 16 and one, number three ranked, Kansas, at three o'clock on Saturday at Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. David Fontenot, News OK Sports.